I've seen this recipe around, but wanted to give it my own flair. I found it lacked quite a bit of depth and flavor, so I made my own version by building it all in the beginning of cooking process. There's quite a bit of ingredients, but it's easy to get if you don't already have them. You'll need spinach, stock, chicken or veggie is fine, red lentils, chopped parsley, Roma tomato, lemon, onion, garlic, tomato paste, one inch ginger, turmeric, coarse salt, chili flakes, bay leaf, coriander, and cumin seeds. We'll be dry toasting these seeds. Let's get everything ready. Time to chop up our onions and tomatoes. Great. We're not going to chop the garlic up. We're going to grate it into the soup. Time to now toast the coriander and cumin seeds. Just till you can start to smell it a little bit a little fragrant and turns a little darker in color. Next, grind it in mortar and pestle. Get your temperature up to medium high. Throw the onions in with the chili flakes and coarse salt. Stir everything together and let it saute. Next, grate the ginger and the garlic into the pot. Throw in your chopped tomatoes, give it a stir until it starts to blend, and let it sit. Add a little water if you need to, to deglaze the bottom of the pot. Toss in your coriander and cumin seeds, turmeric, Stir everything together till it starts to blend. Next, put in your red lentils, stir it together, let it all combine nicely. Let the lentils toast a little bit in the pot with everything, then add your stock. Stir it in so you can also deglaze the pot at the same time. Throw in your bay leaf, then get ready to squeeze 
the hero ingredient of the dish, which is lemon. Squeeze lemon. Stir to combine, then bring the pot to a boil. Cover the pot and let it sit for a bit. Let it come to a simmer. Cover and then check once in a while. It should start to thicken up. Make sure to taste so you're happy with all the flavors. finishing taste. Then garnish with chopped parsley. It's ready to serve. Yeah. Hold on. 